Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam, and in this video, I'm going to share my best C section recovery tips with you guys. So, let's get going. Okay, so I have had two C sections. I've had an unplanned C section and a scheduled C section, and both times I healed very quickly. I would say within three weeks after having um, each of my kids, I was back to fully doing everything myself and, you know, just being back in the swing of things, no pain, no medicine at that point, just back to being me. <laughs> so let's get into how I got there. So the first thing I would say is to know your body, listen to it. I would definitely say to know the difference between when you are uncomfortable and when you are in pain, because that is, there's just a huge difference and I think that some people think that if you're uncomfortable, then you shouldn't be doing it. Um, and sometimes that's probably the case, but I think a lot of the time you kind of need to work through some of that discomfort. Kind of compare it to when you start to work out and you've never worked out before or you've never run before. And you go out and you run, you probably feel great maybe that first day and you get home and the next morning all your muscles hurt. All that acid that gets in there, you know, every, the way that everything feels, you're in some discomfort and you kind of just have to work through that in order to feel better, you know. Um, I would kind of say it's similar um, after a c-section. There's going to be some discomfort that you kind of have to work through, but there's a huge difference between being uncomfortable and being in pain. If you are in pain, you should not be doing whatever it is. Um, but if you're just uncomfortable, that's a whole nother thing. So definitely listen to your body and listen, you know, listen and do what it's telling you to do or stop doing. So that brings me to my next tip is get up and move. When you can get up in the hospital, get up. Um, I would say the hardest part about after a C-section is the transition between sitting and standing and then the opposite, going to sit down or lay down. Um, I'd say when, once you're up and once you're down, everything kind of feels fine, but it's that transition at first that is really difficult. So just take it slow, but once you're up, definitely uh, get up and move as best you can. Um, definitely ask for help in the hospital when you need it. Um, don't be afraid, but definitely if you can get up and stand, just standing feels great. Getting that blood moving. Um, after you get home, same thing. Definitely get up, move, um, take some walks. I definitely, I mean, like three days after we got home uh, with our son when he was born, I went shopping with my mom for like a whole day. Um, after our daughter was born, we went for walks up and down our street. I mean, you know, and same thing. While it felt great at the time, I definitely felt it afterward. Like, ooh, my muscles are really sore, but I wouldn't say I was... I wasn't uncomfortable, or I wasn't in pain. Um, it was just a little bit of discomfort, getting everything kind of moving again, you know. Um, so definitely get up and move when you can. My next tip would be to take your medication. Um, your doctor gives it to you for a reason, take it. With our son, um, I definitely took it very scheduled, and I took most, if not all, of that medicine. And then when we had our daughter most recently, um, I only took it when I started to feel pain. And that kind of worked out well. You started to feel a little pain. The discomfort turned into pain. And then you, then I would take it and, you know, it, I would feel better before it got super out of hand and, on, you know, super painful. Um, so I would say definitely take your medication. I would say it worked out kind of better um, taking it when I felt like I needed it versus taking it scheduled um, and I honestly I didn't even use I didn't even use half of it there's still a whole bunch of it left and um, I stopped taking the medicine probably when she was a week and a half old I mean I, I only took it when I needed it and then I stopped taking it when I wasn't in pain anymore so that worked out my last tip would be to ask for help when you need it. If carrying heavy objects is hard, don't carry heavy objects. I know it can be kind of difficult if lifting your baby or if you have an older sibling, 
that you have to take care of. Um, that's probably the most difficult thing. Um, don't be lazy, but don't overdo it. And I would just say get up and move and just be conscious of your pain level and discomfort. Like I said, I just think there's a huge difference between being comfortable and being in pain and, and really listening and knowing the difference um, in your body. So I hope that was helpful to you guys. Like I said, I recovered very quickly both times, I would say, um, with both of my C-sections. So I feel like I kind of know what I'm talking about, but you know, as always, listen to your doctor and listen to yourself um, and hopefully, hopefully everything, everything heals up quickly for you. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, leave a comment down below if you have some of your own tips and tricks for after a c-section, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!